So first I take a previously cut uh, foam board as a waste board and then lay over a brand new one on top and uh, this is a 900mm uh, versus 600mm uh, with foam board. Then I lay tape on uh, all four sides to join that up together. Once you align it uh, edge to edge first, roll over the tape. Then I pull the edge, the corner, to the homing plate here so to secure the machine and the foam board together apply another layer this is to hold the top the top foam board uh, firmly to it then add another tape here to secure the machine to the floor or to your table now apply tape to all four corners of the foam board it's also recommended to add one more at the center here. As you pull the slider towards home, do not push it too fast because it generates uh, like some back electric towards the board. As you can see, this light up. And always make sure when you slide the cutter head, the cutter needle is always on the top stroke, on the top position. Otherwise, you risk uh, dragging the, the needle on your foam board and damaging the surface. Okay, so I have the foam board laid out, ready, secured. And then I have uh, the vegan uh, fuselage over here loaded and uh, verify the x-axis, the length is within A1 size. Then I type uh, M5 just to make sure the needle cutter is uh, lifted up. Okay. And we just crank it up. It doesn't need to be very fast. And I press begin. I'll start moving and cutting. Yay! This is after I've, I have figured out everything, so it's, it's very, very reliable now. So this is perfectly balanced, it's very quiet, but while it's cutting, it's much noisier because of the vibration of the foam board like an eco thing so this is running at uh, 2000 uh, mm per minute which uh, produce a very nice uh, cutting look at this that looks like it's uh, like a laser kind of So basically, the, how the G-code is configured is that uh, it will do a whole run of a full cut. Uh, as you can see, the guide is very close to the board. Okay, so it's a 9mm stroke cutting through a 5mm board. Then once it has done uh, cutting all the full cut, then we'll go back home and do a second round of G-code which is uh, for a score cut. So at full cut is a 90 degree setting, then uh, at uh, score cut is a 60 degree setting. So you can see now how much the fiber is 90 degree. So it has done all the full cut and then now we go back home where it started. There's no home switch but it knows where it started and then goes back and then go out again to do a score cut. This score cut will be long lines if I remember well. Okay, now you see the solo will give a less angle. Okay, that's 60 degrees. So instead of going straight down flat, it goes like half of the See that's cut. And that's cut. So how I cut is a little bit stupid. 
see the way the G code is generated. So it's sort of random, going to a random plane to, to cut. As you can see, the, the full cut line and the four cut line is perfectly aligned using this method. Okay, he's done. So that took uh, 11 36 minutes, and uh, usually a, a full sheet lay with uh, all the parts, as much item as possible, usually take about 20 minutes. So this one about 11 minutes. It can be faster, but then you have to crank up the, the RPM, uh, which is not recommended. The best RPM will be about 8,500. Uh, RPM then uh, at a cut rate of uh, 2000 millimeter per minute so that's about 25 mm per second so they were concerned about this uh, this tiny uh, what, what do you call this these tiny pieces that drops down during cutting but let me show you what actually happened is that uh, when the needle pokes uh, into it it actually pushes the bottom of the first layer to the top of the bottom layer and uh, sort of like melted them or joined them together so it actually doesn't doesn't move and now I'm going to show you uh, about taking this out since I'm using, using one hand take a look at this damn cool right you can just pop it off okay and there's a tape over there yeah so this one it depends on your your plan so Suppose other plan you can just pop it off, okay? And then this is the score cut. I'm not gonna try to bend it here, but maybe you can see from the side, okay, how deep it is, right? Almost fifty percent. So it's better to be shallow a bit than to be too deep and uh, overcut, especially for your score cut. You don't want that to uh, overcut and cut through. Great. So now next uh, to cut the next sheet, which is the wing. For the other plane, I have forgotten to cut cut one of the parts. So there's extra area here. I just uh, loaded code, process the G code, and uh, cut another parts over this area, not to be wasted. Also, uh, your cut, your just cut foam board can now be used as a, a waste board at the bottom. So you recycle it. Sheet 2 loaded up. This is the wing. Uh, make sure you have a really keen M5. Make sure the plate, the cutter plate is always up. Okay, before you turn on the engine. Otherwise your, your needle will be uh, hitting on the homing plate. And then uh, causing your needle cutter to bend and you have to change a new one. So now I've made sure that the cutter plate is the motor mount is really up. Turn on, uh, crank it up to uh, less than half, almost half, which is uh, about 8,500 RPM. So that's uh, verify with a tachometer. So it's, so it's best that you have a tachometer which you can be had for around 10 US dollar. Uh, you remember? So let's just turn it up. Turn it up. Then pressing, got the correct file, press begin. Now we'll start cutting. So while it's cutting, you also you also show the upcoming path in her green color. Done, and that's uh, for eleventh minute. Turn it off, yay! Oh yeah! A trouble-free, problem-free cut again. Very good line. The score cut. Now it's going back. So this shit takes about 21 minutes. And uh, while it's cutting, I just do my own thing. So that's the great thing, having a <coughs> cheap CNC uh, foam board cutter. So no longer you have to uh, cut it by yourself, which is very time-consuming. 
Now you can just load the file. Uh, at the meantime, you may have to create uh, the G code uh, for yourself, by yourself, and uh, cleaning up the, the PDF plan. But probably in the future, uh, as the community grows, then uh, the, there will be a website where we store all the converted uh, PDF plan and the G code, where you can just uh, load your phone board, load the G code onto the software, to the Arduino, and then you just cut itself. And then you just wait for it, go do your haircut like what I just did and uh, once it's completed, you just take it out and then uh, you can start building your foam board airplane. So that's all on the overview of uh, this ERC time safe foam board cutter for your flight test planes. And by the way, this is my new YouTube channel. Uh, some of you may know me from my previous channel called Albert Chu, which is now renamed to Albert RC Car because it's, it's, there are many <laughs> car videos, RC cars videos in that channel now. So I made a new entirely new uh, YouTube channel for uh, videos all about planes, RCA planes, and also boats only, as well as uh, overview and build review of this machine. So please uh, help me to uh, click like and subscribe and also uh, put up uh, click the notification uh, as well so that uh, we can help grow this uh, channel together as well as more awesome uh, videos as we have uh, very cool videos planned coming up something that involves a uh, rocket Yep, so that's about it Thank you for watching this video I'll dismantle it now and uh, start making a view video which we plan to uh, finish it by this week. Also uh, a website to share part list, build instructions, G codes and uh, clean up flight test PDF on our website. You can just download and uh, you can download a plan, a clean up plan or a process G code that you can just load it to the machine and uh, cut it right away and start building without uh, no more manual cutting which is very time consuming you can just load the code uh, let it cut uh, load your phone board first let it cut and uh, go do your own thing or building an airplane while it's cutting for you thanks again for watching i'll see you on next video bye